very beginnings of motorcycle racing, the potential for crashes and injury has been an integral part of this sport, which can be cruel to those who push man and machine to the limit. Race circuits were once almost exclusively public roads closed for competition. Trees, curbs and concrete walls were all part of the racing scenery. Safety barriers to protect riders were either virtually non-existent or hay bales strategically placed against immovable objects such as fences and walls. But no longer are primitive standards of safety acceptable in motorcycle racing, which has emerged as a premier international sports series. These scenes are increasingly a thing of the past as a modern safety barrier concept, the air fence system, has revolutionised motorcycle safety. is constructed from solid woven PVC which is fire retardant and chemical resistant offering an extremely strong and durable material built into modules 10 meters long that can be clipped together to form any length of protective barrier the FX2 system meets all the requirements of international motorcycle Grand Prix racing well it's an addition to both armco and concrete walls to see around permanent circuits uh, the problem we have in the world is a lot of circuits are built for uh, four-wheel uh, race cars and uh, that exposes the riders to these permanent barriers. So the air fence is designed to be a secondary protection indeed in front of those permanent barriers. The Air Fence 2 system also incorporates the supplementary Defender barrier that's installed where the riders race alongside the permanent wall. The Defender Barriers offer impact absorption with the opportunity to ride out if impacted at a high angle. The Defender Barriers are indeed a mini air vents constructed from high density polyurethane. The Defender Barrier interlocks to the air vent modules on sections of the circuit that require safety barriers at high angles of 75 to 90 degrees. The Defender Barrier system is coated in durable, fire retardant, low maintenance PVC. The air fence system has no recoil factor, which means riders aren't thrown back onto the circuit, as often happens with hay bales and other barriers. While tyre walls are not capable of accepting impacts over 45 km per hour, the air fence is engineered for impacts up to 160 km per hour. It's a great invention, and uh, but it'd be good if we didn't have to use it at all. It'd be good if the fences were uh, far enough back where we didn't need them, but unfortunately that's not the case at all the circuits. and. Uh, but anything we can do to improve the safety is, um, is a plus, you know. What happened to me yesterday, I didn't hit a fence, it was just the bike landed on my hand and uh, uh, them type of injuries can't be prevented, I guess. And, um, you know, but I think we all need to work towards safer circuits and safety improvements. While the air fence looks like a large inflatable cushion, the real benefit comes from its modular internal construction. An inflated cushion at the front, a middle chamber at normal air pressure, and another inflated air chamber which forms the last line of defence against solid objects such as walls and tyre barriers. Well, the air fence is designed to, to absorb the rider's impact when he does fall. Unlike uh, straw bales or tyre walls which simply bounce the rider around and his body has to take the shock, the air fence absorbs the impact by exhausting the air uh, held between the chambers. Lightweight, easily transportable and almost maintenance free, the air fan system can be erected quickly and easily. The modular design allowing each circuit to fit the air vent to its own requirements. The only consumable material is air and that's free supplied from portable knapsack pumps.
position, the air vent modules are clipped and tensioned together into a single unit. At the elite level of Grand Prix racing, the quest for perfection is never-ending. Riders take it to the edge in 14 races in search of the World Championship. One of those is Spanish Honda hero Alberto Puccio took an unforgettable victory in his home Grand Prix at Jerez early in the 95 season. Puccio rides for the team fielded by Cito Pons, the former 250 world champion, a supporter of the air fence concept. Well, uh, the bigger advantage is that we can reduce the matter from the crash area to the wall, to the concrete wall, no? because we can put the air fence and we can, we can reduce the distance more or less the half that if we don't have uh, air fence no half meters no and when the riders arrive to the air fence it's a lot of uh, impact absor absorption no and many riders my rider for instance in last year in Laguna Seca he crashed and in the end he arrived to the air fence and he don't make any any pain because he don't the, the air fence absorb all the energy and He's completely safe, no? It's good. Pooch almost certainly owes his life to the air fence following this horrific 260 kilometer per hour crash during qualifying for the French Grand Prix at Le Mans with virtually no runoff area between the track and the safety barrier. This was perhaps the ultimate test for air fence system without which the consequences could have been much worse. The recent addition to the air fence system is the special purpose medical intervention barrier, which is positioned to allow doctors to treat an injured rider without endangering the medical team. Safety barriers for pit entry walls are also available. The designers of the air fence system continue their quest to supply the world's most outstanding safety packages for all circuits, from Formula One to Moto Grand Prix.